we started in March last year uh, and a bulk of the activity was done in the winter so yeah it was quite challenging because the river is quite aggressive uh, with very little notice we get flooded out um, and as you can see behind us we've got good half of the bridge structure uh, directly in the middle of the channel in the floodway so we've had to basically stage work in a way so that we can do the work that's directly in the channel more in the summer. Um, so starting from basically ground up uh, we've got um, 22 um, board pile foundations in the ground so each pile um, has utilized about 100 cubic meters of concrete um, has been filled up in it. So normally the, um, the vertical piers or you could call the columns of the bridge supports are circular so we have um, modified that shape. It, the circular uh, shape transitions into a flat surface uh, which has got a, a textury finish that was quite a, it, it entailed quite a bit of special design to incorporate that into the final works. Underneath every bridge beam we've got two elastomeric bearings um, and essentially what they are there to do is so that when obviously we have a lot of earthquakes in New Zealand they are there to essentially save the concrete. Obviously concrete is very rigid so they are designed so that the whole bridge can move back and forward side to side so that the integrity of the bridge stays intact if there is a bigger earthquake. We're standing on the bridge deck at the moment so we've got bearings um, each bridge beam, we've got 11 bridge beams that weigh about 62 to 63 tonne each um, and then on top of the, um, of the bridge beams what you're standing on now is the deck so that's got another whole lot of um, steel tied into it and then we pour it we, and we're probably looking at about 140 cubic metres of concrete in one bridge deck which equates to about 300 tonne so you're talking about a lot of weight up here you're talking huge amounts of waste and all that. But the idea of the bridge deck is that it ties all the beams together and then when you get your big trucks rolling over it, once the road opens, it spreads the weight over all the beams so that you get equal amounts of stress through all the beams. We've got barriers that are going to go in, so road barriers, um, and then we've got a footpath, so we've got the shared footpath on the side, um, so that'll go in and then we have fascia panels that sit on the side of the bridge as well and they want to make the bridge look nice and they give it the finishing touches. Okay.